Can you guys speak a bit about Chinese APTs and what motivates sure, them? Yeah. So <clears throat> China's an interesting adversary because out of sheer volume, they find success uh, in their um, cyber war campaigns. Um, <clears throat> they are not technically sophisticated the way other actors are, and even some of the mercenary elements that we see. But they, they're completely held hostage to their 13th five-year plan. Um, they enlist the help of their Chinese Student Scholar Associations at the universities for IP theft. Um, they're able to achieve um, persistence within a network, not necessarily because of stealth or sophistication or techno savvy. Um, rather, the network will typically not be, have their, um, the IoT microcosm layered properly with um, cybersecurity. And um, that's how they're able to find success. Um, what, what we find is that if, you know, obviously you can never stop a breach from being initiated on your network. You can only exhaust the adversary. So you exhaust them enough so that they move on to a more vulnerable um, candidate. And um, we see this with the, with the sheer volume of attack, cyber kinetic attack. Um, they're also a victim of this domestically over there. So you have corporate espionage, which is extremely heavy over there. Um, That's an excellent point. I won't. Inter I'll only. No, no. Go ahead. But, yeah, but uh, you know, if you read, if you read the history, and I'm a Chinese history major, so. But if you read the history of, uh, of China's relationship with warfare, and this is not just Sun Tzu, but, you know, basically. Espionage is the way you achieve your goal. It doesn't have the bad cultural baggage or moral baggage that it does in the West. It's considered you know, a completely valid tool. And although, although we wring our hands here about Chinese cyber espionage, if you read Chinese newspapers, you'll see a tremendous amount of uh, accusations, counter accusations, break-ins and thefts of Chinese companies attacking other Chinese companies. This is a norm for them in a way it isn't here. Yeah. yeah. I just want to, um, so for those of you who haven't bothered to read through the, the, the new 13 year, uh, 13th five-year plan that was released in February, these are the takeaways. This is, these are like key areas that the Chinese are going to try to develop. If you are doing this stuff, you are more at risk of, of serious network intrusion, intellectual property theft, and targeting. So they're looking for new energy vehicles, you know, automotive and renewable energy, advanced computers and servers, autonomous robots, robot core components, advanced medical devices, partially autonomous vehicles, biopharmaceutical materials. This is going to be very important for them. Uh, mobile phone chips and wide-bodied aircraft. So renewable energy, automotive, IT, biofarm, and aerospace. You know, you're on notice, expect them. <laughs>